Okay, so, yeah, the uh, YouTube game app has uh, died. And on this clip here, I'm going to show you how I uh, make my videos with the uh, app. So, I simply go here to the app section, like so, and uh, I go to this part of the app here. App folder, I mean, and then I press YouTube Gaming, which is right there. And then, it says gaming has a new home. Yeah, I'm going to switch the lighting back up from there. So anyway, yeah, gaming has a new home. And, and, uh... And that's where the app is moving to in the next couple in the next couple of days according to the video I recorded for the uh, first part but uh, let me show you how I do it I simply tap on this arrow develop two leading lines, which brings up to the settings. One called record, one called stream. This is how I mainly use the YouTube gaming app these days. When I want to press record, I hit next. When I want to stream, I also hit next. And then you'll see one of these, a few tips. And I hit next. And usually, usually when I do that, before YouTube changes its live stream rules for mobile, I have to go live. So I hit next after I hit the uh, one of the apps to go live on, which is the MB Live Mobile. And then it it was supposed to be turning on live, but this time it says eligibility. Your channel does not meet uh, update the requirements for mobile live streaming. You can still stream with your webcam, which I don't like that idea now because the YouTube game map is being del deleted, anyways. But yeah, other than that, I go to record, and I hit next. And the same thing will say from there. You can pause the video to read it if you, if you want. Then I do the same thing from there. I go to an app, and I record a video on it. Let's, uh, let's try Instagram for example. Then, before I start anything, I press this icon, the one that's right up there, to close the uh, webcam. Then, I press I press one of the, the uh, bar to adjust the uh, camera size. And then, after that, I go and press record. It 
C where it says tap here to record. I go press that. And then it turns on to record. But if I uh, want to end the video, I drag this up and it ends the video from there. But if I want to stop recording, I press the tap to record button again to stop recording. So here's me recording now. And here's me pausing it. What's weird about it is that the time is still going when I pause the, pause the recording. But if I want to stop it, I press that stop button. Then it takes me to this. And then after that, I hit that to upload it to YouTube. That's how I mainly did it. On this part, we go to the YouTube gaming app here. And of course, I never use the entire app to do my to, to uh, watch other live streamers or watch other videos on there. Sometimes I do, but I never do that all the time. But according to YouTube, however, here it says the problem is if you didn't have the app or if you weren't using the gaming app to kind of, of like discover this content, creators weren't as discoverable. Wine Watt, head of YouTube Gaming, says to Polygon during the September launch, so many of these users were just using YouTube and the regular YouTube expense experience. You had some people funneled through the into the gaming app or the game destination, but we were finding we still weren't touching many people daily. Really? So that's what th this is all about? Really? Really? Then another blog says that the Google-owned video giant says the reason for retiring the app is to build a better, stronger home for the gaming community that thrives on YouTube, not just a YouTube gaming app. I mean, I get that, but... <sighs> like, why shutting down? Just why? Is there any reason to shut down in a snap like this? Is there any real reason? I mean, come on. What did you expect? Not everyone would use the YouTube gaming app to in watch other people's live streams or or watch videos on there in the first place. Like, really? I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. Ever. I mean, sure. Their new gaming hub is fine, but I prefer to record and go live with the YouTube Gaming app because that's how much I wanted to actually take my YouTube job seriously. And now that I can't do, can't use the YouTube Gaming app anymore, it's just kind of pointless 
to do so. So here's me now deleting it because from this part of the video here it is May 31st, the day after the gaming app was supposed to be shut down. All right, so here it goes. Deleting an old friend here. YouTube Gaming is part of the following app. YouTube Gaming. Do you want to un uninstall this app? Yes. Sadly, yes. I want to install this app. Because it's no use anymore and YouTube killed it. Because they don't know how to really understand how it works. Other people don't need to use the YouTube game app just to watch other people's live streams and watch other people's videos in the first place. Just record a video or go live on it. It's honestly such a shame that YouTube had to go through with that and uh, delete the YouTube game app. The only thing I don't like about YouTube is that they have the absolute wrongful decision to delete a app that in my mind was successful enough. I got the pleasure to record that app and go live stream with it. I don't need any I don't need to do anything else on that app other than those two things. Because that's what I mainly use the app for. I don't know why if anyone uses the YouTube gaming app at all just to watch live streams or other gaming videos and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, which, which is why we all do that on the original YouTube app. Anyway, they, they could just change the format a little bit better. If YouTube actually changed the f format of the YouTube gaming app a little bit better, they could have at least given a new screen recorder, not the webcam one, an actual screen recorder so that we can actually screen record our videos instead of uh, using the webcam to go live on it. Because when I use the YouTube Gaming app for the first time, it would say some message like, uh, make sure that when you're recording, it's best not to have copy copyrighted material in it, which could be hard because copyrighted materials everywhere and you cannot get away from it. And I mainly don't care about that. All I wanted to do is to record a video, lift the gaming app, and do live streams on the app. With the app, that is. That's all I mainly do. And for YouTube to take it away, is kind of disheartening that they couldn't deliver the promise of the gaming app. I mean, come on. I gave them an... I gave them a suggestion that they could have easily done it, but they never did. Because they're too lazy. They have employees there that are too lazy to actually make it right for everyone. That's why the YouTube Gaming app had to be deleted. And I'm sick and tired of YouTube or Google to make disappointing changes. <sighs> Next time do you do? Uh, this is not going to be a good one.
not going to be good. I can tell you that now. Anyway, yo. This is the last time we we are going to meet. I'm probably never ever see you again. And you are the uh, best step that I ever used in years. And for doing a lot of gameplay videos with with it. I'm kind of going to have to miss that. But I'm sure I'll get over it within the next few days or so and find a new app before uh, I start live streaming on uh, June 10th, which you should probably come when I uh, bring the new app to its knees. To replace the YouTube gaming app for uh, not being delivered by YouTube's promises. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching me rant about the YouTube gaming app. And, uh,. I'll see you in a couple of days. Until next time, though, peace out and rest in peace, YouTube Gaming App.